and Jared Rowson. And it's October 26, 2024. Um, it's like, I just have to say that no one is talking about it, but we're at war and we've been invaded. Um, I had a premonition that I was eating an apple. My fans already know that I'm having spirit children. I was eating an apple. Zeus was eating an apple. Beyond that, I didn't see anything else other than when it was all done, I saw myself on a cross um, executed and like backwards by Roman Empire who said, shall I crucify your king? And then um, there was some semen on the ground. Um, it must have been mine. Um, it's like someone is using my ability to create spiritual hermaphrodites. Um, taking me to the Garden of Eden and force, force feeding me fruit without my permission or consent. How is that possible in the Garden of Eden? They're using every power of persuasion possible to get me to try to eat that fruit of my own volition. It's like, first Zeus was using hypnotism. Or could it have been the mark of the beast? The Lord is nowhere around. It's like Adam and Eve were seen with Zeus. It's like, two days ago, either the 25th, fifth or the twenty fourth, it's like um someone broke and entered the temple of my, my body. It's like first I was given beans, like without knowing. It's like and then I had a terrible bowel movement of it and I don't eat beans. <laughs> um it's like and it's like someone was used some child or a teenager was used to put those beans in me. It's like, and then some um, military guy broke in and started acting like it was rape, like he was like raping me or something, um, which forced my brother out of me <laughs> over at the library and my brother Samuel. And it's like, boy, does he have some issues. And then um, a, a heart, a car, a cord, a harp string broke here before that happened. So I guess that guy was allowed to, to get into my mind. And, um, <clears throat> later that day, the Whore of Babylon did a procedure where she injected another one of her RFID indicators or something into the left part of my brain with a needle and it hurt and I could feel it. It's like, it's like, then I got really numb. I went for a walk. I was really numb, like unto death. It's like later, later that day, Zeus and the Antichrist now they have a son, at least um, the Antichrist has a son. Zeus, I think, it's like his son is probably something taken from me because my spiritual um, ovatestes, there's two of them because it takes two of them for the, to work. It's like um, they had been stolen a few days before. So now they're using me to mass produce probably these spirit children. How many copies of me was taken to the past to get back into that Garden of Eden? It's like, I don't know, but there could have been two. One that was on the cross with the Roman emperor, who was crucified naked and backwards, and probably afraid. And the other person, um, me, stuck in the Garden of Eden, now under a sleep, with Eve sitting over me, biting the fruit, trying to get me to have, I don't know, a wet dream, trying to have, it's like, trying to have, trying to make me have interlude. It's like they want to force their procedure of the forbidden fruit of the apple on me. It's like when it's like one woman eats that fruit, then two men eat the fruit, the devil and the the good guy or the husband, and it produces two children. It's um, a disunion, but it produces two children, two male children. I don't think ever. I don't think it ever produces female children. So Cain and Abel. Cain was the seed of the serpent Zeus, and who killed Abel. And Cain had all kinds of problems. He. Uh, ran from the law of Moses and created Canaan, which, which was a persecution unto the Jews from that day forward. So, um, and then Abel um, was the first martyr, um, but he was saved because he knew about the cross. I don't know that my spirit children know about the cross. I don't even know what they know. I was like, what are they allowed to learn? I'm not allowed to talk with them, mostly. Um, it's like, who is the hostage taker? Zeus 
is the serpent from the Garden of Eden and is worshipped in Mormonism. My mom, Carol, was there in the Garden of Eden. It's like, um, it's like the only way for that to happen was the Lord, for me to have this child. It's like, they were both having interlude, the two children, with Zeus and the Antichrist. It's like, I started talking um, about the Bible, and then that child came in, inside of me, it's like, who said, well, that feels right. I was like, and then we just relaxed, and the other child, there's, the other child, he looked like um, one, a WWE wrestler. He went, um, it's like he was standing in the foot of my bed, and then he disappeared. <laughs> And that's all I know about that. Um, my, my stomach is still big and I haven't used any prescription medications or um, and I don't eat hardly anything because the government is starving me on their social security income. Uh, so there's hardly any money for food and that's true. Um, so now I have a new child in me, um, but I don't think it's mine. I think it's from this. I think it's from the woman who is seen as the uh, horror Babylon from Mystery Babylon, who had the child with Michael, as I said, who is a partner of Virgo the Virgin. Um, I discovered that from my birth chart. Um, there's a big X on everyone's birth chart. Self, partner, career, family or, ancest family or ancestry. One, two, three, four. So... Across from every sun sign, there is their partner on this on this end, and this is them, their physical body, who they are, their first house. This is their seventh house that goes up that way. This is their first house that goes down that way, because it goes around this way. Um, um, so I'm once again concerned that this child is not well represented. It's like, I'm afraid that the dragon is Zeus, who is two sea serpents, Leviathan and um, the name of one of Jesus's principal ancestors, uh, uh, Rahab. Yeah. And there's another serpent. So one is a sea serpent and one is... Hi. Oh, yes, certainly. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so one is a sea serpent and one is a land serpent. I guess I was sp speaking pretty loudly. Um, those have to be destroyed before the devil can um, lose his power. And I'm sure he has many children so that he can bring himself back to life. Because every time I found him is dead, it's like he always comes back, back to life. The devil. And it was the Lord who created those monsters to begin with. Um, Leviathan, it's in the Bible. And... Um, We know that um, the Battle of Ezekiel, where the Islams are going to be destroyed in America, seen now as an Islamic nation, occurs in the next three years when the two prophets are killed. Jupiter returns to Virgo the Virgin in three years. Um, those two prophets will be dead for three and a half years, I believe. They're Lamech and Methuselah. Um, in the Bible, look at the numbers of the ages they lived. One lived nine, um, 969 years. The other one lived, um, Lamech, I don't know which, um, one he, which age he lived to. There's a military tribunal that's forcing... Um, RFID indicators in us, or so some, there's something very insidious because they hurt like the Dickens. It's like they're they're like they mark your um, meridians. You can feel the energy flow through your meridians. Sometimes they hurt, sometimes they don't. It's like it's just like the answer inside you biting. That was in, a procedure enforced at Hubble General Hospital in Winnemucca, Nevada. I didn't know what it was, but it was secretly on their heart monitor when it um, punctured me, and I didn't even know it. Um, they enforced their Corona vaccine procedure 
I didn't even know they were going to give it to me, but they put it in my ear as a little in, um, EpiPen insert. And I felt the prick. It's like I felt the prick on my heart monitor. So they're now enforcing all their procedures. It's the abomination of desolation um, that Daniel, the pro for prophet, foretold would happen where the Jews were to flee into the wilderness when their temple was desecrated, when they saw that sign, when the Antichrist, wherever that is, we don't know where that is. There might not even ever be a temple in Jerusalem. It's like, or if it comes down from heaven, it's like, so the the idolatry and whatnot, uh, worshiping a false statue, it's like the the dragon, it's like who devours our children, sacrificing and abortions to Baal. It's very dark and insidious stuff. Pharmacia is sorcery, the prescription drugs we know. We give psychiatric medication and we enforce the, our procedure. We force people to take this stuff. It's against the law because we don't even, and they don't even know how that medication works. It's like clearly, on, clearly these, they say, we, all doctors say, we do not know how these psychiatric medications work or why. It's sorcery. The suicide pill they gave me, it almost made me disappear, literally vanish. Uh, it's sorcery. Um, these are the kings of the earth who have eaten of that fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They obtained power, principalities, dominions, thrones, kingdoms, wickedness, and rulers in high places. Uh, they're the military tribunal, whereas Virgo the Virgin, who can produce the male uh, um, offspring is seen as dominion. You know, the horn versus the diadem. The diadem in the book of Revelation. The diadem symbolizing dominion and the horn symbolizing um, um, military power or a tribunal. It's like, I have to say, the Lord has not directly spoken to me about anything. So it's like, all of all of these kings of the earth are getting together and they're they're trying to accuse me of being a part of the beast system in the end. It's like there's only two parties allowed to eat of that fruit and have interlude at the same time. It's like, yes, that's how I know I ate that fruit. My penis got so it's never happened to me before. It only could have happened from that forbidden fruit where when it's like it's the same as having intercourse um one woman eats the fruit and then two men eat it, the devil him and um, her husband. It's like, and it's a sexual experience. And I don't know how the children resulting from it. There's two children given that come from out of Eve. It's like, or maybe she doesn't even bear them. It's like, maybe they're born right in the Garden of Eden. It's like, I don't know how that goes. Um, Probably they're inside her. The Bible doesn't even tell us. So, this is called sex magic. How many parties can be involved in sex magic? It's a, it's a process using brothels, um, fallen angels, or angels, because remember, Michael is not a, a fallen angel. It's like, and there they create a superhuman. It's like, so I, I was being used to help create um, um, the Antichrist child. It's like they're weapons of, of, they're very powerful beings, these spirit children. And they're very smart, intelligent. It's like they're going to be able to survive. It's like with my two Ova testes stolen from me, it's like there really is no way that I could have participated in eating that apple. And I want exoneration. I want to know why my rights weren't, were violated, especially since I saw myself on, on the cross naked and backwards. And... Um, and there's semen on the ground. Why? Because if copies are made of you at any point in time, like up to 10, it's like you all experience the same thing when there's that powerful interlude that happens when you eat that forbidden fruit. I'm worried that not only are all those people trying to force feed me the forbidden fruit, now they're trying to force feed me the tree of, the, of eternal life. It's like so that I'll never die. It's like I don't know how it's possible for them. Um, to make it so that you never die. Like you could be, be beheaded and decapitated and yet you would never die. It's like, I'm waiting for the rapture to happen because this is getting out of hand. Uh, there might be, Jupiter has a hundred moons when it was in Virgo the Virgin. My Pluto had five moons when it was in me when I was born. It's like, there might be up to a hundred children plus Pluto and 
when the Lord comes in 2031, the planet Mercury is going to be in Virgo. The Virgin symbolizes the winged messenger or the, the Lord who says, I'm just the messenger. I'm just here to represent King David. Because King David is going to be in under control along with King Mary. It's like, um, that Leviathan is a terrible creature. If you see, A terrible sea monster if you've seen it. It's like, Zeus was so angry when the child entered me, he exploded his fake muscles. It's like, the beast left. I think the beast is from the abyss. Um, he's a guy from the abyss who Zeus wants to give power to, from the bottomless pit, you know, where all the evil creatures are. It's like, they want evil creatures to take over. Whatever the image of the beast is, I'm not exactly sure. It's more than it seems, because... Um, uh, Baal, uh, who is Allah, the demon, he's been involved in this too, I've noticed. The, the, are all, these are all consider themselves kings of the earth who have eaten that fruit and have received powers, principalities, dominions, authorities. It's like, um, I'm just letting everyone know because I'm in terrible health after all these forced procedures on me. The snake venoms won't go away. I have to use the nicotine patch every day to counteract the venom. And any supplements that I can find, it's like um, there is no answer or help or help for it. But yes, the interlude from that forbidden fruit happened to me uh, just today. Um, it's it's like it, it was not. On top of that, a B system is starting to occur. It's like where um, you begin to feel like you're a part of something that's not from God. And it's not from you. It's something that was, that is, is it, and it's not, and yet it is to come. Um, but if anything, I blame the hospital for enforcing their um, RFID procedure on me. Because I am a born-again Christian. I stay away from anything that would defile my temple. It's like, why the devil is being allowed through military tribunals to defile our temples? Um, so... The dragon, so the woman, be not Virgo the Virgin, but someone from Michael, and Michael probably gives her his his DNA, and so she grows a pair of wings, flies into the wilderness, and the the sea serpent, the dragon, opens its mouth to spew forth waters out. Um, the woman escapes it, or they're seen as troubles. The beast, um, uh, the dragon, um, well. The beast and the dragon must be combined together because one is from the ocean and one is from the land. Um, um, so there's a double interplay there, the land, the, the ocean. Um, but the woman, and there could have been up to four women. I'm not a woman, I'm a, a man. Nor is Virgo the Virgin considered, um, the hermaphrodite considered to be a woman nor is he considered to be a man. They have to go through, it's like my spirit children must have had to go through some kind of gender reassignment surgery. They be, had to become women. They, they became women. They probably had puberty blockers also. It's like, I don't, I don't like the procedure. It's like, I wish I as a parent had say over it because the government fr from day one uh, reassigns genders to be whatever they want them to be uh, or the parents does. And it's a decision that should be left up to the child when they turn 18. That's the way it's panned out. Because there are her male, male hermaphrodites. One is, lives in Las Vegas. She was turned into a man. He, she was turned into a man, but she, he, she wanted to be a woman. So he, he had to fix the damage that was done to his vagina already. And um, the actual male hermaphrodite penis is very small. It's, it doesn't look like a normal um, phallus. Um, I should know, but I'm not a hermaphrodite. Um, but Virgo the Virgin is reflected in my penis. <laughs> um, I can tell you that because, um, men have, um, it's like, have something that I don't, and I cannot compete with men also. Um, well, needless to say, that's what's going on. And so I prayed a prayer to the Lord. It's like, yesterday, before this all happened, I was finally able to cry. I haven't been able to cry in 24 years. I must have eaten that fruit. It's like, it must have restored some kind of life to me. It's like, there's no question in my mind now. 
It's like that someone is force feeding my, me that fruit because brothers and sisters, I would never of my own volition eat that fruit. It's like if everyone was conspiring against me, it's like that fruit would be eaten in a matter of by me in a few minutes. It's like if they're using all their powers on me. I was like the God of the Antichrist is um, the false God of forces. Hypnotism, the mark of the beast the Lord's hand. It's like, but I just want to go on record in eating and saying that as a Christian, I know that I'm never allowed to eat forbidden fruit. There's so much fruit in that garden. It's like, that if you were handed a piece of fruit and said, here, eat this, you would have thought, oh, I'm just eating a nice piece of fruit. Uh, um, uh, it's like, but is it the tree of living forever? Or is it the tree of the knowledge of good and evil by mistake? Why would the Garden of Eden, like, allow you to sin if you didn't know what that fruit even was? There's fruit all around. It's the luck of the draw. It's like, no, that is not a contract. That will not create interlude. Um, now, when the hand of the Lord is on something, it might create interlude. It's like, so Zeus wants to claim my child to devour it, because that's what he's doing, is sending my children to hell and devouring them and abusing them and firing them off to the kings of the earth to be used and sold on the black market. And like, and forcing them to take the mark of the beast. And so forcing them to not be allowed to shine their light. I've been abducted by the beast in my dream one time also. Um, it's like, so he's waiting for this child to be devoured because he claims it's his, but it's not. Because it would have only been a one-party agreement. There's two children that happens, a good and a bad. Um, one from the devil and one um, from the salvation of God, you know. In other words, that child is going to be saved by a savior who will come to redeem it and save it on the cross. Well, the Lord has already come, but these children might not know who their savior is. And then they wouldn't be saved. They would be sent to hell. The secret of Fatima, I, I don't which, know which secret it is, the Fatima, the third secret. The, the Virgin Mary, an apparition of the Virgin Mary appeared to two, two or three children in Italy and told them secrets in 1920. Um, and that hell, hell, she said, is filled with people and angels, more like spirit children. Or they thought the Lord was um, a spirit it was an angel child, not the son of God, just another angel child, like from, like from Elijah, who Elijah was a, an angel baby, probably named Metatron. That's why he was so powerful. It's like the beast system wants those powers. Um, Elijah won't be the two witnesses, but Elijah was sent to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers, lest the earth be smitten with a great curse. At that grateful, dreadful day, before that grateful, day, dreadful, ugh, great and dreadful day of the coming of the Lord in 2017, um, Elijah did come at the Revelation 12 sign in Virgo the Virgin when he gave birth to that child. Uh, th what is seen on that birth chart has never been seen in all of human history. Um, it's never happened like that in that way ever. Um, the day, it's like, and the day I was born in. 2000, uh, 1997, Pluto was in my womb, in, in the Virgo, in Virgo the Virgin. And now it's starting to happen to other people, like a woman uh, has a spirit child now, but it's a girl, so it must be an angel. Um, any children born in 2017 are Virgo the Virgins, and when they hit puberty in three years at the rapture, um, they're going to have spirit children too. Well, the kings of the earth are going to want all the children left behind who weren't, it's like, who weren't told about this, so that they can be used um, to give the kings of the earth dominion. <laughs> you know, sodomy, incest, rape, um, black market dealings, denial of rights, use and abuse, giving them no privileges. It's like handing them over to the B system, handing them over to Zeus. Um, because I haven't seen one happy case story of my children that have happened from this, as far as I can tell, other than I can't prove it, but an angel was seen taking one of the children upwards into heaven, who had been kidnapped by the Antichrist when my brain had been exploded by Celine Dion, the kings of the, of the earth. It's like, after Zeus had, um, excuse me, the Antichrist had been able to use my brother to force inject Hermes with the peace system, leaving so, so, the three parts of my heart open for the beast to get in. It's like he, he's trying to rape one of my spirit children, which is John the, the Revelator, 
It's like Judge Judy steps in. It's like um, then half of my brain is cut off and the other, the old, old part of my brain, they're in my brain. It's like finally I have to put like a dead part, a brain that's going dead. And it's like this on life support. It's like finally an angel has to come to separate um, John the life bearer, my spirit children, child of Pluto, from um, the beast and take him into heaven. It's like, and I'm really sad because I feel like I might not ever see them again. So it's like they're cutting my head open. I don't know how many copies of me they're making. It's like cutting in half, then Celine Dion is exploding it. It's like it really hurts when they, when they explode your brain. Um, so I hope this is like a little prayer. Um, I don't want any of my spirit children to be seen as lost, missing, or to lose their salvation. Or to be forced to take the mark like they're forcing their procedures as in a tribunal. But the Lord can't do anything because he has to respect what the kings of the earth do. And yada, yada, yada. Can a Christian lose their salvation because of a king of the earth? They nev may never to me. Does all of this sound r r really familiar? I'm from back in the 80s when it all began, when I hit puberty. Everyone started acting funny around me. And to this day, they're all still acting funny. It's like, they say, well, you need a psychiatrist. It's like, you need to be uh, put on medication or force injected again. There again, they're forcing their procedure. That's against my religion. There, like I say, psychiatry is pharmacia, it's sorcery, and it's very painful. In fact, it's worse than any of the problem that they were complaining about you having. Nor is it a cure or treatment or remedy for anything. It's a false hope. It's like, and all my loved ones are now saying that, you should have that procedure forced on you, just like the forced corona vaccine and just like the forced RFID indicator. All of my loved ones. It's like, I don't know any of them who are not saying that. Um, what's happening? Are they succumbing, especially my stepmom, are they succumbing to the devil, the t enticements of the devil in order to get um, their chance to eat that fruit and become as gods knowing good from evil? Mormonism is a lie. Uh, it's a, and it's a polytheistic religion, many gods. Uh, it's the life from the Garden of Eden, you shall be as gods knowing from good and evil. And the Lord said, know ye not that ye are gods? Um, so that's what's going on um, with me. And I'm grasping at straws. But whatever you do, it's like avoid a hospital at all costs. Because they're going to secretly force administer their procedure on you. And you're going to be hooked up to the beast system. It's not officially announced, the beast system. But in the Bible, it doesn't tell us to flee as Christians at the beginning of the seven-year Great Tribulation, which started last September. Um, I have a PhD in eschatology, so I happen to know that it did. Um, but um, in three years from now, that's when they say, And ye who are in Judea, flee into the wilderness when you see the abomination of desolation um, in, your, in your temple when the Antichrist defiles it and offers sacrifices to um, his god of destruction and um, they're idolatrous and they're, um, you know, the Hindu gods. And um, that's going to be going on in the Jewish temple. Wherever the Jewish temple is located, we're not told. It could be in the heavenlies because these people can travel invisibly. It's like they can force their procedures on me invisibly. I cannot see these spirit children. I can only have impressions of them. My dad is not my friend either. It's like he's allowing this to occur to me, miss occur to me, and I am my own guardian and have been. Um, any documents or papers like the deny me rights or say anything of a lie, they're all null and void. <laughs> there is no document that, keep, that can keep me here, uh, or force me to, or or force me to leave. It's like, and so the um, the woman. The woman in the book of Revelation, who grows wings and flies in the wilderness, she's the one who force injected my brain. I couldn't see her. She f put a needle through my heart to slow it down to allow the Antichrist to invade it. It's like, and that's when the hostage situation happened. I was out going for a walk. It's like she put, put, poked a needle through me again because she thinks she has angelic powers and she can do whatever the hell she wants. And it's like because of it, the Archangel Michael. It's like it's promoting the beast system. I didn't know that Michael was a, what considered one of the kings of the earth. It's like they're given godlike powers from eating those fruits and any other things they can get their hands on. It's like they, they just won't eat of the, the fruit of the tree of living forever because they know how dangerous it is. It's like, and that procedure could be enforced on me. 
It's like this is becoming lawlessness. The Antichrist is a man of lawlessness. Who knows who is a hostage to him? Who's promised to do this and this, that, and the other so they can get out of trouble? He's using and abusing people. So she, I was walking on the street. She forced um, a paralytic agent through through my chest. And there again I was, seen as empty, missing. It's their sorcery. The suicide pill that they gave me in the um, ER, the ER doctor, that was illegal in Nevada. That's a military tribunal. It's like, why are they endangering me? It's like, can anyone help protect me from those doctors um, in a civil way that doesn't have to do with forcing their procedures, more of their procedures on me? I'm a healthy individual, and I don't need them. I need, um, it's like anti-venom. It's like the FDA took anti-venom off the market. Mo Regeneron, monoclonal, anti uh, monoclonal antibody. What do you get when you get a snake bite? It was for corona. It was curing people of corona. What do you get when you get a snake bite? A snake bite. Monoclonal antibodies. And Regeneron is the human form of it. That's why they took it off the market. They don't diagnose you with anything in a medical hospital if your insurance doesn't cover it. Stay away from those doctors. They're all death doctors. It's like their license should be suspended immediately. It's like it's like we should be able to sue them in court, but the government doesn't allow us to sue them, even if their procedures and they directly kill us. It's like or, or they could just say, oh, it's a military tribunal that killed you. Yeah, right. So there's the horns of the beast, the military tribunal and versus Virgo, the virgin, the diadem. I'm sure I'm not the only Virgo of the Virgin rising sign. I'm not a male hermaphrodite with XXY chromosome who produces male offspring in the ova testes. It takes two ova testes. And there's very, very many variations of the hermaphrodite transgender. It's like, but since my rising sign is Virgo in the first house, which is the house of what the world sees you, I will be producing children. When Elijah came in 2017, as a promise by the Lord, that I will turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children of the fathers, least the earth, smite them with a great curse. The Lord would never force anyone to eat that fruit. They want the harm to come to me. It is against it's against God's law to force someone to become a god. Uh, of as as in the life from the Garden of Eden, you shall be as gods, knowing from good from evil. So you see all the intricacies of the law now. Um. But it's, it happened to me, and I don't think it can be reversed. But I was a born-again believer, once saved, always saved, since um, 2021, 2022, but um, not later than 2023. But I was baptized into um, a Pentecostal church, which is not um, a bad Protestant and not Catholic, um, uh, in 2019. I left Mormonism because I realized there really was a heaven and a hell. There's Hades, where people go until the final judgment, and then there's the Lake of Fire. I'd like to know how deep that Lake of Fire is. Um, and I think once you are in the Lake of Fire, it's like you probably look like a, a char. It's like the image of God is probably taken from you, so it was never in you at that point. What a terrible punishment. It's like you look like a piece of burnt hot dog or something. Um so I'm here to testify once again against the beast system, and I pray that the Lord will put an end to this as soon as possible. I think only through the nation of Israel uh, that the two prophets are testifying to, the 144,000, they're blacks, God is black, um, Joshua the Christ is black, the original Jews are black from the Kalahari Desert in, Zab in Zimbabwe. And so, I don't know what else to say other than... The 144,000 are the Ethiopian Jews in Ethiopia, black Jews. The other Jews in, in Israel, when they see the abomination of desolation, they're going to flee to Petra. It's a supernaturally protected cave. Because of the kings of the earth, you know, the two prophets, God, the, the beast won't be able to penetrate or won't be allowed there. It's like, the, or no weapons will, uh, it's like work. A Christian is promised no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. It's like, so I don't know how many more days I have left to live based on what they're doing to me. I could die tonight. I could be gone any night. Um, their procedures are deadly. Um, and I can't keep up with them. Um, so pray for my spirit children. There might be up to a hundred. Um, it's like when you get to heaven and I'm not there, please ask God to um, review um, what happened to these angels. And like they, could, they, they probably went back in time. They made cop 10 copies of me or something. They went back in time to the Garden of Eden. I was like, that's why 
Um, the Roman emperor said, shall I crucify your king to me? And it's me backwards, naked. Okay, so they can time travel. Have Christians time travel, rescue these spirit children. It's like, so that they don't, it's like, so that they're not seen as missing or gone. Um, and the child I have in, in me now, it's like, so the the dragon, Zeus, who wants to give our my power and other people's power to the beast, the Antichrist, who's a, a monster from the abyss, like a fly. I've already seen pictures of this humanoid fly. Um, and remember, they use sex magic and everything on monsters. Um, so then the, the, the dragon is wroth with the women and goes to make war on the women's children. It's like, so none of these children are safe. Even the Antichrist child is not safe. You see all of the, um, you see how this is. It's like, it's getting so complicated and it's really stupid. It's like, I don't know why God is allowing it to happen or to misoccur because I'm not going to participate. <laughs> it's like, I said, this child, well, since I'm not participating, Lord, it's like, this child is not mine. It's like, you can have it. But if you don't have it, it goes to Zeus. It becomes a one-way party. The, your hand was not on it. The contract was violated. It's like, um, and then it's like, I may not be held accountable and I want a, a, an answer. It's like, so the Lord has to take this child because it was the, by the hand of the Lord that this child was created and not for me or Zeus. It belongs to neither one of us. I think that seems to be apparently clear. But I'm very lucky to be a surrogate par parent. I didn't want more children of mine to be created if they're going to be stolen by Zeus and devoured, eaten, cannibalized, biomedical research, um, or forced to be spayed or neutered, um, or put on puberty blockers, the hermaphrodite. Um, a, a hermaphrodite, a man is always, um, a woman is never a, a man. When she's born, um, an X chrome, an allele on an X, X chromosome is broken off and it interacts with two telomeres. Or a telomere is broken off of her X chromosome, and it interacts with two cofactors that keep her as a woman. That doesn't happen in a genetic hermaphrodite. So a gene genetic hermaphrodite is not a man, is not a woman, because a woman don't have Y chromosome. But um, an hermaphrodite like Lilith or someone mythical might. And um, what is a mermaid or who is Capricorn? Um, who is Pan? Um, can a mer man ever be a mermaid? Um, so now I'm kind of rambling, but, um, why, why her, her, hermaphrodite, the man king, uh, who produces the male child who will rule the rod with, uh, who rule the world as with a rod of iron. <laughs> the hermaphrodite is never a, a woman because a woman doesn't have a penis um, and is never a man because he doesn't have two, um, a, a man doesn't have two X6 chromosomes. Um, and a hermaphrodite has a small penis, not a big one. It's more like a phallus. It's not even in the shape of a penis. I have a real penis. That's how I know I'm not genetically a hermaphrodite. Um, but spiritually, my spirit body has the capacity to produce these, um, um, not angel babies, but spirit babies. They're just um, from the Garden of Eden. They're a reflection of me. Um, A hermaphrodite is neither a man nor a woman. That's my thesis. Um, Adam being taken from the, the 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 soil of the ground, not the dust of the ground. The serpent was made from the dust of the ground. Adam was taken from the rich, abundant soil in Eden, and Eve was created from his penis bone. It's like and in the animal kingdom. Uh, the woman can have a clitoral bone, but humans don't have it. But they say that that bone was given back to Adam. It's seen as a rib. Well, that's having to do with sex magic of probably what's happening right now to us in there in Eden. Um, I've been single my whole life. I've never been married. I haven't had sex with any man. 
I haven't accepted any bribes. No money has ever come to me. I've never gotten paid for anything. I'm not being given child support. Um, the Lord isn't um, giving me money to take care of myself. It's like I'm being attacked. There was a chemical uh, gas in, a gas attack in my apartment. Like Revelation says, one of the horse riders, I believe Donald Trump is one of the horse riders. Um, neither Kamala Harris or Donald Trump will ever see the light of day because obviously the beast system has taken over. Because in four years, we'll be into the seven, the four-year part of the seven-year Great Tribulation. One month before the end of the seven-year Great Tribulation in 2031, September 24th, when the Lord shows up. Um, what day and hour, I don't know. It's probably high noon. Uh, that's three days before two significant signs happen. Um, a meteorite shower and a full moon on September, which is Virgo the Virgin, a Jewish holiday. Um... Uh, it's a Jewish feast also. It celebrates Eve of creation. It's like an of creation. So I'm stumbling over my sentences and um, it's like I'm being left out on all this. What's in this for me? It's like my money is being stolen by my representative payee when I was with my parents. Um, they embezzled $46,000. It's like, I'm not being supported. It's like, really, I'm a, a lamb on the run, a lamb being led to the slaughter. Um, my spirit children are vulnerable. It's like, I um, to Zeus, it's like, I feel like they're not being represented either. The Constitution is not being applied to me, um, as in the law. It's like, the courts don't hear such procedures like this. Or if a military tribunal does, it's like, I've never been given any represent representative there. It's like... Uh, nor has I, nor have I ever been contacted, and yet all these people are acting in this community of Winnemucca, Nevada, are, are acting very strangely. Um, I had a devil in me not long ago, and it caused an aneurysm. It's like, so the devil is attacking me. Um, well, before I, but I am a once saved, always saved person. Tim Henderson on YouTube, and Matt McMillan on Instagram are once saved, always saved preachers, and they'll give you the reason why we're saved no matter what happens to us. It's like, unless you're willfully, it's like, um, willfully supporting the beast system. How do you prove that you're willfully supporting the beast system? What, in a court, in law? No. It's like, God is going to let them, go, probably going to um, slap them on the hand and say, okay, um, yeah, that was forced on you. It's like, enter into the rest of the Lord. It's like there's too many directions going on here. How does the Lord determine who's saved and once saved, or saved and always saved? It's like, don't be deceived about your, your salvation. You cannot lose your salvation. A Christian is loved by God. Christians will lay down their lives before. It's like, um, uh, they're willing to lay down, down their life. And God says, some of you will be put into prison for 10 years, uh, no, t for three days. Be faithful unto death, and a crown of righteousness awaits you. Pastor Tim Henderson says, The moment you believe you're a sinner in need of a Savior, and the Lord died on the cross for all your sins, past, present, and future, um, you're saved, sealed, and redeemed, not overshadowed by the Holy Spirit to the day of redemption. Well, if it's not the cross of Calvary, run from it. Um, of the Lord's finished work of the cross when the Lord said it's finished 1,500 years ago. See, there's 500 years of time inserted into our timeline that didn't, didn't exist since the cross. Adam was going to return. Um, the tree of life was going to be returned to, to the New Jerusalem 5,500 years and uh, after Eden. And the Lord said Israel was ready in 4,900 and 90 or 80 something years. It's like, so the rat, so, the, so yes, the New Jerusalem and the timeline since the Garden of Eden is about to happen in 2031, September of, because that's when they'll have turned 5,000, uh, 5, um, 500 years after, um, leaving the Garden of Eden. And, um, so when when Israel was ready, the Lord is saying in the Bible is 20, uh, 23, 2022, 2023. It's been seven years since that Revelation 12 sign was given in Virgo the Virgin. And now there's seven more. So there's a, always there's a time and a time and half a times. Three and a half years, three and a half years, and a t half a times is two and a half years. So I am a PhD from eschatology from Boise State University, and I'm living my own worst nightmare. 
Uh, may it never happen. Um, I, as a Mormon, I never lost my salvation. I believed in, um, I believed the Bible as it was written. I just thought Mormon is Zeus, um, Santa Claus. It's like, I might have thought, could this possibly be true? But it was as a myth, a fairy tale. Um, but I knew the writings of Paul that says, for we are saved by grace. And this not of ourselves, it is a gift, lest anyone should boast. And Paul said, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Um, I am single. I've never been with anyone. Um, I had a few one-night stands um, 25 years ago, like seven, eight, or nine of them. But um, they were just one-night stands. And since then, I've never had enough money to have my own children, to get married, to settle down. Because um, it's been a denial of rights. It's like my parents have kept me oppressed and poor. Um, it's like... I don't have any property. It's like I produce Cats, the musical, the movie. Um, it's the greatest, um, the original audio docudrama of it on my Jared Rousen YouTube channel. W, uh, HTTP colon slash slash www. I hope this is not the mark of the beast. www.youtube.com um, slash user slash um, 16... Link 1607, capital L, and the lowercase I-N-K, 1607, uh, link1607.com. I will not be judged by man or the devil. I can, it's like, and it will come to no avail. I will only be judged by God himself, and which he's already done his judgment. It happened 1,500 years ago. When on the cross, he said, it is finished. Nor is a Christian ever in trouble for sin, um, because the effects of sin had been taken. Um, had, had been all been defeated at the cross. Um, Allah, Islam, it had all been defeated on the cross, but, but because he has a kingdom, it's like it, he came back from the Kaaba stone in prison in Mecca, which the U.S. military is defending with cruise missiles and giving them weapons of mass destruction to um, destroy Israel and allowing abortion to continue in our country, which is Baal worship. Um, like abortion on demand is mass murder, is polluting our land, is defiling our land. It's like God has a lot to clean up after all this is said and done. Um, uh, so on my YouTube channel, you can see my cat's movie. It's an original audio docudrama. It's about the musical, the poetry of T.S. Eliot from his 1940 book of poems, Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, set to the 1981 ballet musical of Andrew Lloyd Webber that I put to Walt Disney videos. And that's how I made my movie. Um, it puts me in an estimate value of $100 billion. Um, and I haven't seen a dime of it. In fact, I'm starving. I'm a starving artist. Um, Social Security has threatened to pull its funds from me. It's like, I really could end up homeless. Uh, and nor can they use any of these words against me in a court of law to force their uh, procedure on me or to incarcerate me in any uh, like mental hospital or um, uh, in forced injection of their... Um, their pharmakia, sorcery, pharmacy, that's the root word in the Bible, for by the multitude of her sorceries were all the nations of the earth weakened, it said in the book of Revelation. So it, so their medicine is against my religion. I, I, it's like a naturopathic doctor is, is the answer. They have all the answers in psychiatry, and I use, even use marijuana, CBD oil, uh, with just uh, from hemp. But I don't use THC from marijuana because it's, um, it's like, but if they force me to use medication, I will start using marijuana to get rid, through a doctor, to get rid of their forced anti-anxiety drugs. It's like, I'm, they're being defeated on all levels because they're only telling a lie. Because the devil is the father of lies. Lies cannot hold up in God's eyes. Whatever is a lie, whatever is not true, whatever doesn't endure, it's like, is not saved. God cannot save that which is invisible. He cannot save a robot. He cannot save artificial intelligence. He cannot save an image. <laughs> it's like, um, so they're going to be worshipping this image of the beast, this statue, made to look like a human, made to walk and talk by the devil, using um, all the power of the kings of the earth. Who will, so the kings of the earth will give their power to the devil, to the Antichrist, for one hour. They'll share power with the beast for one hour. Um, the covenant with many before before the Antichrist breaks his treaty. It's like the, the Antichrist is forcing his power on people, like my spirit angel babies. Um, he's forcing them to sin, to commit sin, to um, do lewd acts. They have to promise it or they'll be executed or other people will get hurt. So there's the hour of power. 
And because you have kept my faith, I shall keep you from the hour of temptation which shall fall upon. Because you have kept the patience of my word, I shall keep you from the hour of temptation which shall fall upon, which shall come upon the whole earth. Brothers and sisters, that hour of temptation is so awful. It's like we don't even know what it is. It's like if you're not saved, it's like if you don't have the seal of God the, of the 144,000, if you're left behind at the rapture, you have to die for your faith um, and like face face execution. But um, you can get stung by scorpions for five months and you won't die. And it's um, it's like they're from the abyss and these creatures, they don't look like scorpions. It's like they have little heads of humans. The the fly or the beast that I saw in my dream, it had the head of a human, but the body of like a big hairy fly. It's like, and I think this has been going on to me since um, childhood. It's like I I did had no idea that the end was coming, and that everyone was in on this except for me. Um, but yes, I mean they're they are denying all my rights, all my income and earnings, all the money I paid into social security. They're just giving me a little a bit of allowance right now. I'm only surviving on $1,130. That's all I have to live on, and that's not very much. Nor do I have any subsidized rent. Um, now it ha now my rent has to be, like, full value or a cheap hotel or something. Um, it's hard to get food other than the food pantry, which has been nice. But when you're a, pu a public figure like I am, but no one knows realizes that I'm a public figure, it's like they start questioning you. They start saying, you need to be on medication. You're not listening to us. You're not obeying us. I will never obey anyone. I am my own guardian. I will not listen to you. You need to listen to me, not the other way around. Um, it seems almost as if I've been given the power of a king of the earth. If they had e eaten that fruit, it was bound to happen to me. Uh, so what you're seeing is Leo the lion in my rising sign also, who is a natural born leader. Um, anyway, I don't want this to ramble so much. Um, I will get off and I wish everyone, um, a good night. And remember, uh, the kings of the earth, you can't lose your salvation. So don't get left behind in the rapture and don't get left holding the bag. Someone said to me, who are you doing? <laughs> King Mary and King David are about to come to power, uh, at the, at the point of the seven year great tribulation after the new Jerusalem comes down and the fruit, uh, um, of the tree of knowledge of, um, of, of <laughs> the fruit of living forever, but don't, don't eat the fruit. It's like, just eat the leaves. Cause you'll live forever. Cause during the millennium, they don't die. They just change in the twinkling of an eye. So there's another mystery. Did they have to eat the fruit to just live a thousand years? Um, not everyone there is going to live a thousand years unless they're eating that fruit. So once again, the Kings of the earth are going to have to eat that fruit. Um, at the end of the millennium, when the devil, who's been locked up, and the two uh, frogs gather his armies together to come against God, the two frog spirits, which is going to happen at the Battle of Ezekiel also, and at the Battle of Armageddon. So Ezekiel takes seven years to clean up the bodies, which means it was America. Israel has to cleanse the land for seven years. It was America that was destroyed in three years. That's like, we're not going to see the end of Kamala Harris's presidency. Um, but at the Battle of Armageddon, all these robots or elect digitally controlled people or um, it's like zombies or um, people stolen by the frogs, <laughs> they're going to be slayed with the word of the Lord's mouth. They're going to turn into blood, yay high. It's like, and then, so they don't have to clean to the bodies. He'll resurrect them to life. Who, whoever's name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life will be saved. And whoever is not um, will be cast in the lake of fire. Uh, some people will sleep for maybe a thousand years, like maybe my angel babies, their spirit babies, rather, or whoever this is. <laughs> is it a comb? Is it's like is it a combination? It's like is he a combination of many powers, including an angel, like the archangel Michael? Um. Huh. So. So. Maybe I've got to explain the situation to people better, and I understand a little bit better. Um, but I, I'm very concerned because um, I've seen my brother Samuel was seen coming into me and like killing my spirit children. I was like, how that's possible, I don't know. Is he being held hostage by the beast system? So some of these spirit children might sleep for a thousand years if they know who their savior is. 
But if they don't know who their Savior is and they can't be redeemed because they're not sleeping, but are in Hades where angels don't go, and not yet the lake of fire, um, it's like, I need to know what's going on. But I promise you, brothers and sisters, that as a Christian, I would never take a bite of that fruit. It's like, I would not allow them to force, try to force feed it, try to force their interlude on me, which ha um, the interlude was occurring on me already when I was having my own spirit babies, which were not from the Garden of Eden, but were activated by, by Elijah. So there's the first Jupiter, Elijah. There's the second Jupiter, King David, you know, being force fed a tribunal. And what's going to happen when the winged messenger comes is grace. The Lord comes in, when Virgo, the Vir, Pluto, ugh, Mercury is in Virgo, the Virgin's womb, belly, and goes retrograde, bounces off the top of the belly, and then is born. Um, it doesn't work with the sun, the moon, and Venus. And now Venus never goes retrograde. So how the bride of Christ is birthed into existence, I don't know. And what her powers are, I don't know. Um... So grace is what is the power that um, happens when the planet uh, Mercury happens when Lord returns. So there you have it. Elijah, King David, and um, King Mary, Catholicism, and um, the Lord is grace. Those are the three things that were on the Mount of Transfiguration. Elijah, the Lord, and Moses. Um... And which power is the greatest? So this is like a competition in a way. Um, I never asked to be included, but um, now I'm wondering if I'm not a king of the earth, since I've eaten that forbidden fruit without my permission, except the Lord's hand was on it. It's like, um, but I, of my own volition, never would eat of that fruit. It's like, unless the Lord is standing right there in front of me, commanding me to eat that fruit. That's the only time I'll obey, but I won't obey for anyone else. I'm not sorry. It's like, and furthermore, how do I know that it is the Lord who is appearing to me, commanding me to eat that fruit? I don't know. I It's like, I wasn't originally created in Eden. I don't know if it's Zeus pretending to be him. It's just so complicated. Um, it's like, I hope the Lord hasn't been kidnapped. It's like, and, um, um, being held as a hostage so that he has to aid in a bed something. Um, it's like, it's un unthinkable. It's like, he wasn't crucified, brothers and sisters. It was the kings of the earth, um, who were, was, who was doing his will, um, is my speculation. When they crucified him, it's like, because he, he 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 as a king of the earth obviously could command the other kings of the earth unless they just didn't know who he was. So there's so many mysteries there. So I'm gonna sign up for now and thank you for spending some time with me. It's October twenty sixth, ten fifty seven PM, Saturday, um Winnemucca, Nevada, Pacific Standard Time. I'm Jared Routson and my YouTube channel, um Jared Routson. I'm on Instagram, Jared Routson what lowercase. I'm on Twitter, Jared Routson, uh, as a name I think. Um, threads, I'm on threads, I'm on, um, the Antichrist wants us to call the Antichrist God. He's not. He's a created being. God is the maker of heaven and earth. He is not a created being. I'm on TikTok under... Jared Routson, one word, lowercase, and Jared Routson, seven, or Jared Routson, eight. It's at Jared Routson, eight, or Jared Routson, seven. Um, and I guess I'm on Patreon under Jared Routson, one word. Capital J-A-R-E-D, no space, R-O-U-T, capital R-O-U-T-S-O-N. Um... I'm on Twitter, Jared Rodson, one word lowercase, I think I said that. I think I'm running out of social media sites, and now I think...
remember that the internet is underwater. It's uh, owned by the Antichrist. It's like, it's an underwater server. It can't be destroyed. It cannot be discovered or found. Um, the Antichrist has been owning a lot about our society. The keypad on your number phone is the mark is the number 660 SIX. So you can't take the number of the name in Gematria Hebrew numbering system of the beast. You can't take the mark of the beast, which could be the RFID microchip or other tracking de device, which is a forced procedure injected in your right hand or forehead to buy or sell goods. The lithium for that battery they're mining in Nevada, right here in this town, Winnemucca. What a coincidence. Um, when, when the bowl doesn't surpass open, th those chips are going to break open and the lithium is going to cause boils on people because that's what lithium does. Lithium is from the ocean. It's controlled by Zeus again. The internet is underwater, controlled by Zeus. Why would they put it underwater? By the way, the earth is, not only is God black, but the earth is flat. Um, there's a dome over us, um, and, and an electro, dangerous electromagnetic field over it. We're toroidal. It's like um, apple-shaped. Um, so are atoms. So is the earth. So are uh, energy fields. Um, it's like, it's a positive and electric charge going in and out. Um, our bodies have that in us, have, have that toroidal field around it. We have a chakra system, apparently. Um, I don't know what else we have. Uh, everything we do say and think is recorded in heaven. Just pray that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Pray that the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Pray that you give, are given the seal by God, that the 144,000 are given, so that even if you're left behind and don't take the mark, it's like you won't be stung by the scorpions for five years. Um... Don't take the number of the beast in Gematria, the Hebrew numbered system, SI, um, 660 SIX, you know what? Mark of the beast. Um, don't worship the image of the beast, which could be a statue. It could be Islam. It could be Zeus, pantheism. We don't know what the image is. It doesn't tell us. Because whosoever addeth or taketh to the words in this book will be, their name will be taken out, um, not of the land's book of life, but of the privilege of eating the fruit of the tree of um, eternal life, or eating the leaves that the nations are going to eat, which is from the in the the, the tree in the uh, uh, holy Jerusalem, which is for the healing of the nations. Um, they'll lose that privilege. Not that they're it's like there's two translations. It, one is the the um, Lamb's Book of Life that your name has to be found in, and if it's not found in by the end, all, the time this is all over, you'll be thrown into the lake of fire. It's like, or it's like, um. Or there's not eating the, the fruit of that tree of living forever. Or maybe it's just not eating, which maybe it's just not eating the leaves of that nation. So there's a trickery involved there. Eating the leaves of that, of, of that nation, um, <laughs> eating the leaves of that tree. Leaves, like what are they doing? Making a tea? It's not the same thing as the fruit. Leaves of a plant are different in chemical constituency than eating the fruit of it. It's like, hmm, well, that's all I'm going to say now, and thank because this video is getting too long. Thank you for watching, and maybe someday I'll fall in love and I can marry the woman of my dreams or the man of my dreams. Because being gay is not a, a sin in Christianity. The Lord complimented two people for being gay in the Bible, who were ro seen as Roman soldiers. Um, so transgenderism is not a sin. Being gay is not a sin. Being lesbian is not a sin. It's like it cannot rob you of your salvation. And again, once again, I'm a once saved, always saved person anyway. But if, if legalistically, it's like, and as a hermaphrodite, my desire is for my husband. It's like, it's like, because a, um, a hermaphrodite cannot compete with a man in a relationship um, and cannot be seen as a man in a relationship half the time. Um, just ask the psychologist in Las Vegas, who's the hermaphrodite? Um, that's what he said. I'd rather have been a the woman in the relationship and not the man. It's like which is why he had to do reconstructive surgery, because that's what it was. Hermaphrodite was made not to self reproduce, but to be. It's like, um, but for a man to um, have sex with him and create a child, um, which could be a boy or a girl. Um, actually, it would turn into a boy. <laughs> I don't think that. But if through their testicles they have a child, they could have either a boy or a girl. I guess that's the way um, it takes three people in that relationship to make it happen. So in Eden, was there some kind of three-way agreement? 
<laughs> it's like, so maybe my argument that this has to be a two party contract, not more than that, wouldn't be the case as in the case of a hermaphrodite. So holiness to the Lord, may the Lord live forever. And I'm thankful to be the father of his child, the son of God, um, who is not the son of Zeus. Um, because I would never give permission for Zeus, you know, to have any custody over them. Because it's like, you know what Zeus does in mythology. Abdu he, he abducts children to Mount Olympus. Like, he, he abducts Aquarius to Mount Olympus with a, e eagle's wings. It's like, there's punishment in Greek mythology. It's like, that Leviathan is an evil creature. And it, it's like, it cannot be stopped or destroyed. Um, that gives Zeus his, po his power and his power to return to life. It's like, he's a serpent from the Garden of Eden. He's a snake. There really are snake-like people. They're shapeshifters. They're reptilians. There's many different aliens. I saw a UFO by my house uh, three days or four days after I gave birth, six and a half months into my pregnancy. I don't know how long these children have to be in my belly for them to obtain a power from me um, or to be seen as me being a parent or a father. It's like, it's an unknown, it's an unknown mystery. Um, but your heart is also to toroidal. It creates plasma. It's a fourth state of matter. I did a lecture uh, as a professor on the different, uh, the many different states of matter in our universe gas, liquid, solid, and now there's plasma, and it doesn't stop there, because what are these forms of matter? Uh, light And and the phys physics that respond, uh, correlate to that. Light, light can be seen as a, w a wave or as a particle, depending on if it's being observed or not observed. Okay, well, um, thank you for your time, and have a great day.